Hey YouTube, Repo Man 64. Um, I found something kind of cool. Uh, I wanted to show you where we're at on the timeline, uh, on the Enoch timeline currently. And um, it was a Facebook post by Kim Hicks in um, the WAC Pack. And I'll show you that here in a second. Just a quick video, not going to go too far. Um, Kim Hicks posts a lot of stuff in there, and this was pretty cool. Um, she noticed that the track of the balloon from China that came across the United States made a similar track as the eclipse in on August 21st of 2017. Thought that was pretty cool. Um, why did I highlight this? Let's see. You have spent time with the Lord today. Have you read your Bible today? Quickly tell me a Bible verse. Oh, I mentioned I I, I uh, had noticed this before, but I never talked about it. And uh, Gator eleven eleven was uh, made this post, and um, I thought it was pretty cool. And he notes uh, John three sixteen, and what he says is don't uh, John three sixteen doesn't count because everyone and their mom knows it. And so, um, as you know, I think the last Sabbath is March 16th, and John 3.16 is the most popular Bible verse of all time. You'll find it on bumper stickers, you'll find it everywhere, and everybody knows it. Uh, everybody knows it by heart, even people that don't believe know John 3.16, which is uh, kind of amazing because God said in one of the Ten Commandments, um, that to find the Sabbath, keep it holy, and it will be as a sign unto us, as he's been telling us all along, that the last Sabbath of the year is, in fact, on March 16th, John 3.16. I thought that was uh, pretty cool that he found that. All right. First Thessalonians 4, but I would not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto thee, coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. In other words, a lot of watchers and Christians and and people who believe on Jesus and have accepted the Lord are going to go first. Um, I had thought perhaps, and I, I fielded this idea through a few people, and uh, this is the verse that they pointed out, that perhaps uh, in order to have a... In order to have a, you can look at it two ways. The dead in Christ must rise first, right? But if the dead in Christ rise, guess what must happen after that? After that, the living in Christ must rise. Well, we saw this event take place when Jesus rose. There was a great earthquake. Jesus rose, and a bunch of people came out of their graves. What we didn't see was those who were alive and remained rise with him. So there's an event missing. So I had fielded the idea that perhaps the next event is that those who are alive and remain over the course of the last 2,000 years, because um, we are in a group of great watchers now, that perhaps the next event would be the rapture of the bride. And in reading and studying a little bit more, I find that the dead in Christ uh, must rise first. So there's a lot of people who, um, since Jesus uh, you know, rose and uh, he he rescued the people out of Hades. Anyway, I I, I thought about it, but I, I am uh, I'm thinking that this is more accurate. That we are going to see the dead in Christ rise, um, and then we rise. So for the Lord Himself shall so descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of god and the dead in christ shall rise first then which we are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the lord wherever sorry wherefore comfort one another with these words so 
it's very comforting to know that um, as soon as we see this event take place, and again, I, I fielded the idea, but then quickly realized, no, the dead in Christ must rise first because since Jesus uh, rose, a lot of people have uh, accepted Christ. Uh, give him a shout out. So this I saw on Saved by Grace 18. And down here, the first video, it's a TikTok video this guy puts up, and it blows my mind. Uh, she watches it, and she uh, puts it on her uh, YouTube, and she says, okay, chills, and it's true. Uh, there's one minor detail that I uh, want to point out um, watching his video. Uh, of course, credit goes to him for finding this, but uh, the one minor detail, detail that I want to add to it. This is the verse that he cites in 1 Zechariah 1, 7. A man among the myrtle trees. And again, go watch that video and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Upon the 4 and 20th day, so we know it's the 24th day of the 11th month. We know the 11th month is Shavat. In the second year of Darius came the word of the Lord to Zechariah, the son of Berechai, the son of Ido, the prophet, saying, I saw by night, and behold, a man riding upon a red horse. He stood among the myrtle trees. Now, what was so amazing about this video is it was this, uh, this balloon that we've made a huge deal out of was shot down in Myrtle Beach. And uh, it, really, it really struck home when he said that. I was like, wow, that's crazy. They found this verse. But let's continue reading. And where in the bottom... And behind him were there red horses, speckled and white. So we know the balloon was white, but it came from red China. So he made this connection, and I thought it was pretty cool. Then said I, O oh my Lord, what are these? And the angel that talked with me said unto me, I will show thee what these be. And the man that stood among the myrtle trees answered and said, These are... They whom the Lord hath sent to walk to and fro through the earth. And they answered the angel of the Lord that stood among the myrtle trees and said, and here's the part that I, found, that I uh, recognized as important. We have walked to and fro through the earth and behold, all the earth sitteth still and is at rest. As you know, our core has stopped. The Earth's core has stopped. They say it does this about every 70 years, and it is reversing direction. And it is actually happening right now, and we are two days away from the 24th day of the 11th month on the Enoch timeline. Uh, remember, on the timeline that I propose, uh, uh, or have been proposing for almost two years now, that... My date, or the date, or the Enoch date, I should say, not mine, the Enoch date, or the last Sabbath of the year, March 16th, is the first calendar. Um, all other calendars' dates fall beyond whatever I date I say it is, their dates fall beyond that date. So, for example, um, Shabbat 11, uh, sorry, Shabbat 24, the 24th day of the 11th month, for me, on the Enoch timeline, lands on February the 7th, which is basically a day from now in Israel. And um, any other timeline, as I showed you last year, fall between you know a few days to 47 days after this date. So the first timeline that takes effect is the Enoch timeline. Everything else comes after because they wait for that sliver of the moon to come by. So... Um, I let's see. Why did I do this? I don't know why. March seventeenth. Oh, to February seventh. Okay, so I did that to do my calculations to show that Shabbat twenty-four, uh, the twenty-fourth day of the eleventh month, is in fact February the seventh. There's the timeline, and here's the post that Kim put on Whack. Uh, what is it? Uh, Whack Pack and. Uh, did you know our core was about the size of Pluto? And in the bottom here it says and it stops spinning in the same direction as the rest of the planet and might even be rotating the other way. 
researchers suggested on Monday. I thought that was a really good find. Here's her post uh, about uh, uh, this this event and this uh, some some work some days she has worked out, and she's actually looking at the Enoch timeline herself and uh, tying all this together with Pluto. There's it's a really good read in Black Pack. Uh, Kim Hicks posted in there so. Uh, let me go back here. I'll show you where we are in the time. It's going to be a real short video. I just want to show you where we are because this just caught my attention uh, when she posted that. And uh, I want to show you where we are right now. Right now, we are on February the 5th, almost February the 6th. And remember, there's Joshua's one long day, uh, which around this time each year, it knocks my calendar out by a day. And I can't quite pin down where that one day is. But it's somewhere in here, and this and it is affecting Shabbat 24. Uh, it should be February the 26th, but there's a, an extra day in there, and, and it, it appears at this point here, at some point in the, from when Mary conceives uh, all the way through Purim, there's a point where the long day uh, knocks my timeline out because I have not... I, I have I have figured I put the dates on according to exactly what the Gregorian dates are, but there's that one day at a time that I can't nail down as to where it's at. So always take everything after Mary conceived on December the 25th. Uh, always consider that day. At any rate, on February 27th, this is I'm sorry, February 7th. We're two days away or one day away. Uh, the core begins to slow down and spin backwards. They're saying it's about to do that. And, of course, they blew that white balloon up just over Myrtle Beach. So I thought that was cool. So right now, we're coming up on Shavat 24. And we saw that verse in the Bible that says um, on Shavat 24, we will see um, a white horse and red and it, the uh, earth will stand still and not move. So it's stating that uh, the core stops spinning. So the next event is February the 7th. And then after that, we have Valentine's Day on February the 14th, which is a Dar 1. Lands perfectly on a Dar 1. And then after that, we come to Purim. And on Purim, it is a Dar 14th, February the 28th. So we are literally only... 20-something days away from Purim, and it happens to be the 11th month and the 11th day from the head of the year of March 17th, and it is exactly 348 days from the head of the year, so it is also 30 days before the cross, exactly before the cross, so are we seeing 11-11, and are we seeing all these things going on in the world as pointing us towards what is about to happen. And so we're, it, things are heating up. I mean, we're seeing it all around. We can't deny that it's happening. Even just the Gentiles who aren't even watching or even care about any of this, who uh, think it's funny or, you know, are flip, flippant about it, aren't even uh, paying attention to it. Those people are even seeing um, the events of the world unfolding. And so that's my short video uh, sh showing you where we are. Um, the Bible verse says Shabbat 24. We are literally a day away from that. And we're literally 21 days, three weeks away from Purim. And that's where everybody's seeing 11 leathers. I'm seeing it. Everybody's seeing it. 11 11 popping up everywhere. Uh, just in times that people make posts, times that, uh, that video links there are 1111, people are seeing it on clocks and watches, and uh, it's just it's just everywhere that uh, people are seeing it. So God is telling us something. He's telling us to pay attention to something. So like I always say, go to a quiet place by yourself. Nobody needs to know, and you don't need to tell anybody. And accept the Lord in your heart as a private quiet moment between you and your creator the creator who created everything including you and how important you are to him and that you it's the simplest thing it literally is the simplest thing to stop thinking like the world that you're just going to live and die or stop thinking that uh, well if i do this much work or i 
do all this stuff and I'll and I'll be saved by that. Shed all that off, just like Alicia did uh, when you saw Elijah go. Take it all off and throw it away. Just go in there by yourself. And I say I get into trouble. People say that that's not true, but it is. It's actually found in Matthew 6, 5, and 6. Go read that. Um, that is exactly what we do. So like, comment, share, and subscribe to those channels I showed you. Um, everyone's watching. Everybody's trying to figure this out. It'll probably be one of those channels that ultimately figure it out. And I'm okay with that. Um, when I see somebody else come up with something as grand slam as Kim Hicks uh, posted in there on that TikTok video um, from that uh, YouTube page, I, you know, it's, it's, uh, was it blessing? What did I say that was? Blessings? It, it's, I, I showed it to you. Um, go back and rewind and, and look for her YouTube and uh, subscribe to them because uh, everybody has a piece of this puzzle. Everybody has a piece. So like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we will chat with you again later.